Welcome back to Muscle TV. With the challenges in full swing, we know there's something that can and have dramatically changed people's lives and physiques for the better. It's not easy to do, but two of our very own Max's team members have done just that. And tonight, we asked them to tell us a little bit about their story and take us through a great chest and back superset routine. Reese, a 30-year-old from Melbourne who's a part of the Max's team and a qualified personal trainer. Having lost an incredible 25 kilos in a two-year transformation, he's committed his life to being the best he can be. Nick is a 24-year-old from Melbourne who's also a member of the Max's team. Nick has lost an incredible 37 kilos and trains twice a day. His future looks bright for competing on stage soon. So we're doing a chest and back superset today. It's a program that was basically designed by Arnold Schwarzenegger. He used to do a lot of this back in the days, in the 70s. It's a, what you call an antagonistic superset. So it's two opposing muscle groups that you're supersetting together. So in this case, chest and back. You can also do biceps and triceps. You can do quads and hamstrings. It's a good workout to do to shock your system. It's not something that you do every week or every day or whatever, but it's good to just do it as a wild card, just to throw it in and just change things up. I've currently been training for five years now. I originally started training just to to really get fit and, and also get really big. The iron bug really bit me hard and I wanted to get big, so got up to uh, 100 kilos at my peak, but uh, it wasn't a good sort of look. I, I looked fairly overweight, and within the last two years, I basically transformed my whole body, changed my diet, changed my training up, and have this lean physique that I have now. So it's been quite a journey. I started training, started lifting weights at about 16. On and off, wasn't really committed, diet wasn't in point. I was much the same as Reef. Ended up reaching 110 kilos at one point. I just thought I was big. I thought, you know, I was bulky, that's where I want to be. And it wasn't until I had an operation and looked at myself and thought, wow, you're out of shape. And so I turned my life around and then the last two, two and a bit years, I've been going pretty hard and ended up losing 37 kilos. And that all comes down to just training hard, dieting and just committing because it is a long process like Reef just mentioned you know you've got to stay with it it's not going to happen overnight but it will happen you know we're living proof of it so you know you got to stick with it. So first exercise for a superset is basically wide grip pull-ups superset with uh, parallel bar dips. The key part of this workout is to sort of is to have a balanced workout. So you basically want to have an even amount of exercise for your chest and back, and that will include st a stretch motion, that will include a contraction motion, that will include an isolation motion, and compound movements as well. So you want to keep it fairly basic and fairly balanced at the same time. Ideally, it will be suited for intermediate to advanced trainers. So if you've been training hard for a good six months to a year, I'd say give it a shot and just you know see what it does to you and see if it you know increases your strength, increases muscle size, and just give it a shot to shock the muscles. This workout is quite adaptable in the sense that you can do it anywhere. I don't actually train at this gym, I train at a different gym and we even came to this gym and noticed there were a few machines that weren't there that we had but we've just modified it, different grips, different positions but it's ultimately the same as we normally would do. Once upon a time I, I was overweight and there are plenty of people out there that are in that same situation as well. The reason that I'm in this situation at the moment is was, was basically I never gave up. I had the mental focus to see it through to the end and that sort of comes through belief in self. If you believe in yourself that you can achieve it then you will achieve it and, and I believe that it's available to everyone. Anyone can achieve it as long as you believe in yourself and stick with it. You can't lose focus, you can't get disheartened so you're not seeing your results. They come, they come slowly. They don't happen in the first six months. But yeah, you might lose a little bit at the start and then start to drop off. And then you'll you know, think, oh, it's not working anymore. It's not happening. But you've got to push through that phase and then it'll keep coming off slowly but surely. You've got to do it in steps. So I started with my diet, made sure my diet was on, you know, on point. And then I stepped into fixing my training. And then I fixed the other aspects, making sure I was resting, eating, training, everything, putting it all together in one package and then that's when it started working. I 
I've uh, basically started up an Instagram page where it sort of uh, showcases my journey over the last couple of years in my weight training and my diet. I try and motivate and inspire people and I basically showcase my transformation, the, the food that I eat, the training that I do and uh, all sorts of things like that. I basically chose a weight in which I can fail in about 10 to 12 reps uh, just from previous experience and on what I can and what I can't do and I uh, just choose that weight according to that scenario. You've got to somewhat find your own way in the industry, but at the same time, you've got to look to other people for advice. You've got to adapt, you've got to stick to your own mindset, but you also got to take advice from other people because the people that have done it before know better than anybody. Come on, I mean, a lot of people ask me, what is the secret? And, and I always tell them there is no, there is no secret. You just got to work hard. You got to diet hard. You got to train hard and you got to stick with it and be consistent. And over time, it will happen. As Nick said, it might not happen overnight, but it will happen. And you just got to stick with it. You do need to make sure that you're eating right and training hard to get there. I think out of everything, you really need to love and enjoy what you do and you've got to enjoy the journey. It's a slow process, it takes a long time. I mean, you've sort of got to gain the knowledge in, in regards to training and eating right. And, and once you do, you just got to keep at it, go hard, be determined, don't give up. But most importantly, just enjoy the journey. This is now our last exercise. We're going to superset our light cable pullovers just to really hone in on the back. Superset that with our body weight push ups just so you can get a real good pump in the chest to finish it off. I look back at my old photos and I, and I sort of look at, look at it and I think, wow, I can't believe I actually look like that. And at that point, I didn't really realise how I was looking. And, uh, but just looking back, I just think, wow, it's, it's amazing how far I've come and how I've changed my body. So it's been a very, uh, long, uh, very long journey that I've uh, actually enjoyed. Come on, get up! That's the, that's the end of our chest and back superset. Fantastic workout. Took it out of both of us. Fantastic pump, torso pump and a half. And uh, yeah, tight as. Yeah. Thanks for the workout, bro. That's a great workout. Gotta do it again. Times. Yeah, thanks to Reef and Timsey for a great workout and a great story too. Awesome stuff, boys. Well, that's about all we've got time for tonight. So thanks for watching, and until next week, see you in the gym. Muscle TV was proudly brought to you by Maxine's for the body you want and Max's because life's too short to be small.